Okay, this is a situation in the edge-to-edge -edge mode where I have set up an edge-to-edge -edge project in the edge-to-edge -edge mode. I've quilted the first row. I roll the quilt. I hit continue and clicked on the end point of the first row. And after I did this, I looked at my screen. I can see that right now my needle is all the way my machine is up against the take-up roller and I can see that I'm going to hit the take-up roller if I continue to quilt this. If I click on start it'll work fine but when it gets up to the top the machine is going to hit the take-up roller and abort. So I need to correct this before I can uh, resume quilting. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll the quilt back a little bit. I've rolled the quilt back enough that I'm going to have enough room to... Oh, I had an interruption by FedEx delivery. But I've rolled the quilt back so that now my crosshair indicates that I'm going to be clear. I can quilt this, but I'm going to have to relocate my quilting project. Remember, I'm in the edge to edge mode. So here's how I'm going to do this I'm going to right click on this first row, the first repeat. Going down, I'm going to use relocate. Shift all to one point, and it says here, okay, using relocate all converts this quilt group from edge to edge to repeat patterns. Do you wish to finish the edge to edge using repeat, or using relocate instead of edge to edge continue? Press yes or no. I'm going to press yes, and then I'm going to go up here, and I have in snap, I have the. Um, in snap or the snap turned on the in snap so I'm going to click the, ma the machine is sitting where I want it I'll just click yes now notice it says repeat patterns edge to edge I have just corrected the problem that I created by not rolling the quilt correctly I rolled it too far so that it would hit the take up roller it's that simple to get yourself out of this type of situation. Just use relocate shift all to one point and it will shift you from the edge to edge mode to repeat patterns edge to edge and now you can continue quilting your quilt. When you roll since this quilt this pattern has to start and end at the bottom as you roll and you get ready to quilt the next area you have a couple of choices matter of fact you have three choices when you roll and, and quilt to get ready to quilt just right click on the last row the first repeat in the last row that you quilted you go down to relocate and you can either use relocate all to one point sh uh, shift all to one point relocate shift all to two point or relocate project origin. Either one of those will work in this situation. If you use shift all to one point, you can use the start point of the first repeat in the last row that you quilted. Or you can use any other point. If you choose to use relocate shift all to two points, you can use the start and end point or you can use any other two points that you can find without any difficulty with the mouse and with the machine head. If you use relocate, relocate project origin, you simply place your needle at the start point of the first repeat in the last row that you quilted and click yes when it comes up and everything will be shifted everything will be ready to go